Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseSteps.com. And this is episode number 202. 202. Of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. They are our official travel agency. They have 80 vacation planners across America. It costs nothing to use their services, and they will check for the best deals. Even after you book, they'll try to get you the best deal after that. I like that. a great deal. I like a great deal, too. And also, Maple Leaf Tickets, our official ticket agency. Check them out. And this week, we have a house guest, Cousin Orville. Actually, no, it's our good friend Martin Smith here. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> A very and tired Martin Smith. That's right. Been hitting the parks all day, yeah. He's been living the Martin lifestyle. Rope <laughs> drop to close every night. That's how he uh, he rolls here. But anyway, he's visiting us. And actually, he is house uh, house watching while we're at Disneyland Paris right now as as you listen to That's why he came over from the UK. That's right. It, it, works, <laughs> it, works, out. The house. it works out very yeah. well. Anyway, look at this giant cruise ship we're looking at. You just got off at the Disney Fantasy Cruise. That's the other reason why we're here from the UK. Yes, we did our first ever cruise on a cruise liner and it just happens to be seven nights around the eastern caribbean on the fantasy and it was a halloween cruise it was and that was a nice bonus um on top of everything else they did some nice things some nice decor quite a good halloween show in the atrium and um, there was ghost stories for the kids and some of them actually got a bit spooked up on the deck at night time and by the way while we're uh, talking about this that is the disney wonder the disney wonder happened to be in dock as you were there and didn't you uh, did they have a little horn battle we did we had dueling horns as we passed but it was quite lucky the fantasy sailed and the other the wonder was in port so let's talk about what we're looking at here the it's decorations in the lobby mm -hmm. looks like it's nicely themed. it looks like Groot. Groot, yes. <laughs> uh, maybe next year it will be Groot. Guardians, what do you think about that? Guardians of the Fantasy. Oh, <laughs> no. Careful what you wish for. And there's some trick-or-treating There was, there was trick-or-treating. Oh, this was on um, really Halloween day when we they had the masquerade show. We had trick-or-treating in the atrium. The decorations were up all week. Okay. But it was a specific day when it was all, everything was Halloween themed. So it's like Halloween Day at Sea, just like Star Wars yes, Day at Sea. Yes, exactly. Halloween that. Day at Sea. Yeah. I, li I do like this thing with the jack-o'-lanterns on the tree and Groot there, though. That's yes. pretty cool. That, yeah, that was nice to see. It's a bit strange to see in September, but it was nice. <laughs> so why don't you tell us, this is the masquerade ball. Looks like a big dance party this here. This was a big dance party. It was really good fun. It was very well done. Um, they don't do it all the time, obviously. And it was great to see the characters all dressed up in Halloween costumes, um, dancing to some familiar tunes. Mickey and Minnie really... It looks We're like very the, energetic. Is that not the new? Is that the new? Yes, Mickey? that's the new Mickey. So uh, yes, the, I, I tell you, the costumes are are very very interesting there. It was good. It was good. I mean, I didn't go there with high expectations, but I didn't want to leave until it was look over. At, look at that! Like, how, <laughs> and that's not sped up either. I that's was just going to ask you if that was sped up or not. That's real speed. And by the way, if anybody is wondering, Martin shot all the video that we're looking at here, so it was really nice of him mm -hmm. to uh, to share this video. We appreciate that Thank very you. much. You're welcome. You're very welcome. It was good fun, as you can see. It was popular with the guests. The atrium was packed, the balconies were packed. Um, it was a great show, it really was, it was good fun. So what was your overall impression on your very first Disney cruise on the, on the Fantasy, which is, I think it's our favorite ship. Uh, first impressions, what can I say? Um, two words, go back. <laughs> Absolutely awesome, unbelievable. Everything from the ship itself to the service, to all the events, all the things to do, the schedules, the stage shows, the special shows like this masquerade party, um, the quiet deck, the adult deck, the pools, the aqueduct, of course. <laughs> yeah, absolutely unbelievable. We're going to start saving up for our second cruise. So the cruise of a lifetime will not be the one and only cruise of a lifetime. Well, you'll have to do a different type of cruise, though. You maybe a Christmas cruise, or I mean, you've already done the Halloween cruise. I have to do a Frozen cruise. Then oh, we'll... the Frozen cruise! <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, or it'll be the Marvel Martin cruise. Will it, not, oh. will it not be the Marvel cruise by then? There's going to be quite a few different ones, I think, because these kind of themed cruises are obviously catching on. So. Interesting. Very interesting. Now you said you like the all the various restaurants. What was your favorite of the of the restaurants? Oh, I think I probably have to go with the normal one and be the last night in Animator's Palette. Oh, that's a classic. When we drew our own characters and they were animated on the screens. That was really good fun. <laughs> I thought that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I would. that's that's my favorite part too. Although I, did like, I do like Paolo and Remy and those kind of things. But 
Yeah, we did Palo Brunch, and that was recommended by a lot of good friends who've done it before, and they said we shouldn't miss it, so we did that, and it was very nice. I can't help but laugh but while we're chatting, though. I'm looking at uh, Pluto here mm -hmm. getting down on the dance floor. Again, very energetic, very energetic. There's something and about a, a cruise. They must be able to rest up, and then they really get into the dancing more than I've ever seen. Maybe the boat was rocking a bit too much, and they were kind of <laughs> going into the rocking as well. Now, you saw all the various stage shows, too. What, what did you think of the various shows that you saw? Um, Aladdin was unbelievable. Aladdin was fantastic. And you're watching this show in this lovely theatre, and then you've got to pinch yourself that you're actually in the middle of the ocean. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a very similar show that, than the one they had in a California DCA, adventure. Yeah, yeah, I believe so, yeah. Um, I've only been there once, and of course, when we visited DCA, Aladdin was down for refurbishment. Oh, so you never so saw I've the... I've never seen oh. the DCA version, no. Now so, it's frozen. Yes. And now it's frozen. See, I'll, right I'll, up your alley, And Martin. it's actually a very good show. I'll just have to go back for frozen, <laughs> yeah. No, all the shows were very well done, um, considering as well that you're on a ship, you've got space limitations, everything's limited. The shows were great. They were really worth going to. And you liked, um, as far as meals, you went to the buffet, uh, which is in a buffet at night. For... In Cabanas. Yeah, yeah yes. that's it. You know what? I think we're going to try that. Why don't you tell that story? We took a, a night out from the dining rotation that went to Cabanas where they do table service mm -hmm. for the evening meal. And it was fantastic. We had the best rib ice steak available. Absolutely stunning food. And, and quiet, and, relaxing. And it was very, very quiet. The wood. It, I wouldn't say empty, but it was certainly wasn't anywhere near half full. And if you've been to Cabanas for breakfast or for lunch, you know how noisy it right. gets up there. You could almost hit a pin drop because it's just subdued, quiet conversations going on. The lights are dimmed, the decor changes, you have proper cookery. It's like I said, it's table service. It's almost like a different restaurant to the daytime. And of course, it's all black outside the windows. <laughs> now, do you remember what night the uh, Halloween uh, yeah, aspect was? Was it early want, on in the... In I the would want to say it was the Wednesday, but the cruise was Saturday to Saturday. There they go again. <laughs> there look they at Mickey and Mickey. How do they, they even do that? And look at the dancers. I know. And let's not forget about the guests. We saw some great guest costume with the guy, the Baymax costume. There was, was a lot of guests in Halloween costumes. Some of them were so elaborate. I mean, on Halloween day, like from mid-afternoon onwards, you'd be walking the decks and working the corridors and maybe every other guest you saw was in costume was it a day at sea that they did this it was not a day at sea it would have been um saint thomas oh so it was a port day then. yes interesting wow. i i would have thought it would have been a day at sea like the star wars day at sea so it's not a halloween day at sea after all no it's a halloween day at port <laughs> well there you go and i think this show is about to wrap up the next thing we're going to see i believe is uh, some of the the treats the halloween treats they had was mm -hmm. that just for um dinner or, or were you able to get the treats during no, that the... was just this one day just for dinner though, not not at the fast uh, fast places. I didn't see them during the day, so I have to say just dinner. In fact, don't quote me. This may have been a day at sea. Thinking back now, this oh. may have been the Sunday Monday. This may have been the Monday. Okay, okay, yeah. I mean, I which just was, which was the second day at sea. We here, won't here, quote you. here. Yes, we will not go. <laughs> I'm just been recorded. Yeah. yeah. And here are some uh, of those items we talked about. The uh, looks like eyeballs. And yeah, there was there was quite a lot. Of, and that would be a treat. Is that a treat? That's a Is treat. that what you call it? That looks like With a treat. With eyeballs in it? No, that it absolutely looks like a treat. I don't know if I'd want to eat that. Why? Because I. It's it a spiderfully like it's good. Bite me. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's almost a spider man. I'm sure it logo. tasted very nice. <laughs> as all the other food did on the cruise. Now you'll have to explain this because I really have no idea what this, this is. This was very interesting. This was in the evening. It was basically ghost stories for the, for anybody for kids mm -hmm. um, up on the pool deck and you had cast members on stage interacting with a ghost story narrator on the jumbotron screen. Okay. On the funnel vision, and I will say that some of the kids were screaming. So it really was scary. It was, the lighting was airy, there was smoke machines, they had a couple of um, ghosts and ghouls appearing on the upper deck during the storytelling, and the, the stories were just, the way they were spoken were perfect. It was real, round a campfire, 
ghost stories in the dark. And this was definitely for kids, not really for adults. There were some adults there, and I would say... You were there. I was. I had to videotape it. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say that that's some a, of the youngest kids maybe shouldn't have been there that, by that's themselves. So scary. Yeah. Oh, the kids were screaming. The kids were screaming here and there. See, I probably wouldn't want to go to that because I'd be wanting to go to sleep, and I don't know if that's, I'd be able to go that's to sleep. That's a fine that. way to go to sleep after that. It's like a Halloween horror night at sea. For That's, that looks scary. I will add as well that they had a very light night, light night showing of Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, that's right. In, in the, the Buena Vista Theatre. You were telling me uh, yeah. the other day, Jack and Sally. Apparently, had a I meet. didn't go, but I was told that Jack and Sally came out at the end for meet and greet in the theatre itself. And that would have been like one o'clock in the morning it, or it something. Would have been pushing then by then. Yeah. Was it, it very been. busy? Was the theater busy, or were you there? Did you see how many people were in it? I don't know. I believe it was quite busy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if it was Nightmare Before Christmas, seeing on the, you know, showing that on the Halloween cruise, that'd be pretty cool, right. yeah. especially with Jack and Sally. And it had 4D effects, apparently, in the theater. So oh, they nice. some extra effects in the That's theater. That's awesome. So is there anything else you want to say about the uh, the Halloween aspect of the cruise? Uh, it was a nice addition. It, it, it's not the reason why we did that particular cruise, um, but it was it made a nice day. It added to the cruise, I'd say. Certainly, like, the Masquerade show in the atrium really added to the cruise. That's a memorable moment from the cruise. So it's kind of like it added to the ambience of the cruise. And as we get closer to Halloween, if there's more cruises that have a day like that, then I think they'll go down really well with the guests. Well, thanks very much. We really appreciate yeah, again, you, you know, and thank also we you. appreciate you watching our house. My pleasure. Hey. <laughs> and we'll take good care of Europe, by the way. <laughs> so when you go back, it's everything... okay. I'm not in Europe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot. That was Martin Smith, our good friend from Manchester, England. We appreciate uh, again you coming on here, thank and you. Uh, thanks very much to our sponsors. MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. And they can book cruises uh, with the Disney Fantasy, Disney Dream, I think any Disney, uh, not just Disney Cruise Line, but other cruises as That's well. That's right, all cruises. <laughs> and also, Maple Leaf Tickets, our official ticket agency, the best deals on tickets in town. Check them out. We will be back next week with a normal size show, and we should have lots and lots of uh, interesting content from our uh, Disneyland Paris trip. Yes. So, very exciting. Anyway, thanks again for listening. Have a great week, and we'll see you all next week. Have a great week.